Welcome back to the channel. My name is Chad. I'm Rutal Taylor. Oh, am I wearing earphones? Why am I listening to music right now? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Chad Rutal Taylor. As you saw by the title, we are making varsity jackets. Now, for like the two of you who don't know, varsity jackets are jackets made of wool or like a felt material for the body, leather for sleeves. They're usually popular in like high school and university varsity sports teams give their athletes a jacket you know what i mean they can put their name on the back of it and stuff like that a whole bunch of layers you guys know you guys know what varsity jackets are i don't know why i'm why i'm explaining this anyway we're making a varsity jacket today um yeah let's let's get this on starting off the project i'm just drawing out the dimensions with the seam allowance on the fabric using some white chalk the waist neckline armholes all that kind of stuff this is just a shot of the underside of the fabric it's the interfacing and the interfacing just gives the fabric more stability more strength that kind of stuff now i usually do draw it out on paper which i did do here but i just didn't take a video of that but yeah always draw out your stuff on paper first before you actually cut anything all right so that's the back that's the front man this really looks like black here it's it's brown i swear <laughs> we're done with the back and the front now let's go on to the sleeves I took my red chalk and I drew on the underside of the leather just the sleeve. I had to make a little bit of alterations because the leather is a little thicker than I thought, but that's okay. That's totally fine. Now that I chalked it out, I'm just gonna go cut all the edges. All right, now that we got the sleeves cut and everything like that, I'm taking it all to the sewing machine and I'm sewing the sleeves to the rest of the jacket as well as the jacket together. Have to take a little quick TikTok video, but that's no problem. I'm gonna get a lint roller on this to take all the lint off, but just forget about that. This is what the jacket's looking like so far. And I do the exact same thing for the lining. I sew the sleeves together and the rest of the body of the jacket. I'm just overlocking all the lining pieces because they kind of fray a lot and I don't really want to deal with that when I'm sewing. So to make it a lot easier, just overlock everything. All right, so now we're starting off with the welt pockets for the jacket. This is like the hardest, but also the most fun part. I'm just using my hand to measure out the general shape of the pocket, which is what I usually do anyway. So I'm using the, um, wait, what, what am I doing here? Uh, I'm just kind of like chalking out dimensions so that I know how and where to cut. Obviously, you gotta leave some space for seam allowance as well. And um, yeah, I'm just using a ruler to measure that kind of stuff. What else am I doing here? Jeez, it's going, pretty, it's going pretty fast, damn. Uh, yeah, I'm making the wall pocket. Um, I have to make a top part and a bottom part of the pocket, and then I'm going to sew the actual welts onto the pocket as well too. For the welts of the pocket, I'm using leather because that contrast just looks really, really nice on the, um, against the color of the fabric, I guess. All right, so the pocket is sewn. Boom, boom, the double welt. Now here comes the scary part. Always the scary part, I have to cut it. Cut down the seam and then cut two diagonals here. <laughs> okay, my scissors is too dull to cut the corner. I have to cut it at a 45, but my scissors are just not sharp enough to cut it, so I'm gonna get like a razor blade or something. The diagonals are cut. Now I have to flip this inside out and see if I actually did this properly. All right, so you see the pocket is looking like a double welt like we see here, which is nice, but the sides are just looking really, really bulky. I think I need to cut the sides underneath because the leather is two layers thick and that's just super, super bulky. So I'm gonna go trim it down, uh, maybe press it with a press cloth on top so I don't ruin any of the fabric and I'll get right back. After I flip the pocket inside out, 
I can just add a little bit more touch-ups to the pocket itself. So as you can see the pockets here, the interior looks nice. You can see that lining and you can see the wool as well. Um, I did the exact same thing for the other pocket of the jacket. And now that both pockets are sewn, I can sew up the rest of the jacket. All that's really needed to be done to finish up the shell and the lining are just to sew up the sides. So you can see me doing that here. I sew up from the side of the waist all the way up to the wrist part through the wool and through the leather. And now this is what the jacket's looking like so far. So you can see the uh, lining part. I also added a pocket and a little bit of pockets for the front of the jacket there. And I added these gussets at the armholes. Again, they don't really need gussets, but I just thought that they look cool. So I just put them on there. Um, and this is what the shell's looking like, leather sleeves, everything's sewn up. And pretty much I'm almost done. I just need to add these two pieces together and do a whole bunch of like collar stuff and just little finishing detail stuff. Here I have the ribbing, which is what I'm gonna use for the collar. I'm using brown ribbing. I don't have like a two-tone brown cream ribbing. That's like impossible to find. I pretty much checked everywhere to find it, but that's okay because I'm gonna make my own by grabbing some brown ribbing, grabbing some cream ribbing, fusing those two together, you know what I'm saying? And then making some really nice striped ribbing. So here's just the brown. And I think later on you'll see me adding the cream to it. Maybe not, just passing the iron over it to make sure it's nice and soft. Jeez, all right. Um, I add the ribbing to the cuffs, the neck, the waist of the jacket, and then stitch both the shell and the lining together. Here's the jacket. It's in a cream and chocolate brown colorway with a maroon interior. Now let's break this jacket down one by one so you guys can see. As the client requested, we have ribbing on the collar, on the cuffs, and on the bottom here. Now, when it comes to the ribbing, I forever tried to look for cream and brown ribbing, but I, I couldn't find cream and brown ribbing. I don't know if it's just the stores didn't have it or I wasn't looking hard enough. Anyway, I took brown ribbing and I took cream ribbing and I just stitched them together to give that classic varsity striped ribbing look. The jacket is pretty wide in the body, so if you wanna wear it with like a hoodie or maybe like a thicker undergarment, totally can do that. Um, the back is plain. Oh, I just got some thread there. Just take that off. It's kind of embarrassing. Uh, <laughs> the back is plain, again, pretty wide. Uh, the sleeves, they're made of um, chrome tan leather, which is nice and soft. Uh, the interior, so the interior is made of sort of like an iridescent, let me unbutton it so you can see, sort of like an iridescent maroon color, which is really nice. Uh, if you guys saw my recent fabric pickups video, I do show off all these fabrics that I use for the jacket in that video, so you can go check that out as well. Now, probably my favorite part of this jacket are the double welt pockets that are on both sides of the jacket, right here and here. These were my favorite parts because they were a little bit complicated to do, a little bit challenging for me, especially since uh, they're leather and the leather got a little thick. The machine was kind of, you know, slowly working through the leather, but you know, we made it, it's cool. Um, and they just look a lot better than a single welt pocket, in my opinion. Um, they make the jacket look pretty striking, especially since you see these two slashes on the front of the jacket. Some other things about this jacket that I wanna talk about, the closure for the jackets as regular um, varsity jackets have, they are these snaps. Um, so I just got black snaps. They're a little bit glossy, so you can see, to sort of match the color of the jacket. If you can see here, this triangle shape, and down here, I added gussets to the sleeve of the jacket, and that's just to give the sleeves a little bit more space. Now, the sleeves did not need gussets. However, I thought to myself, like maybe if you know the client wanted to wear like an extra thick hoodie or something with the jacket, to give them a little bit more space so that you can move a little bit more freely with the jacket. So that's pretty much it, man. I think this is probably the best jacket I've made so far. It's not my favorite jacket, but it's the best jacket I've made so far. In terms of the construction, the, just the entire process of making it, um, the look of it, the feel of it. The jacket's pretty, pretty hefty because of the leather sleeves and the wool. Uh, it's a pretty hefty jacket, so yeah. That's it, man, that's, yes sir. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think about this jacket in the description below. We are almost at 4,000 subscribers on this channel. Thank you so much for that. Um, yeah, if you like this video, make sure to like it and subscribe. I am gonna make another jacket very soon. It's almost completed that you may like more or maybe just as much as this jacket if you liked it. Um, yeah. 
thank you again for watching. Uh, see you guys in the next video. Bye.